Tonight, another North Texas family is asking whether CPS could have done more to save their child. One-year-old Ava Garcia died today in the hospital. Tonight, her stepfather is charged with capital murder. He's a man with a history of mental illness, and he wasn't supposed to be anywhere near the little girl who police say he killed. Bradley Blackburn has our story. For three days, she fought for her life. 20-month-old Ava Garcia on life support with severe trauma and bruising to her head. It's really hard to see her like that. That's not how I want to remember my daughter. Edward Garcia was her father. Ava was declared brain dead just before noon today. The Johnson County Sheriff has arrested Eric Trailer, her mother's boyfriend, now charged with capital murder. She was hit at least multiple times in the top of her head. The doctor said, imagine taking her from a tall tree. and dropping her. It's a tragic ending to a messy family story. Eric Trailer is Edward's cousin. She wasn't supposed to be around Eric. According to an affidavit from a CPS investigator, Trailer is diagnosed bipolar and schizophrenic with a violent past. In 2013, he held a man, woman, and child hostage, cutting a man with a knife. And last year, he was arrested for sexual assault involving a minor. The affidavit shows Ava's mother, Amira Shaheen, promised CPS Trailer would not have contact with the girl, but she, quote, misled the department. In fact, he was her primary caregiver for the past nine months, a time when she was aware that he had been off his medication. We warned her, multiple people warned her. Edward last saw his daughter in October while he was in jail on a drug charge. His mom, Ava's grandmother, saw her regularly. January 6th was the last time we saw her. But she didn't know her nephew was caring for Ava. As a nephew, I love him. But should he have ever had her? No. He was diagnosed schizophrenic. There's Eric, there's Amira, and there's CPS. They didn't step in to do their job. CPS confirmed today that they have had contact with this family before. They are now investigating Ava's injuries, and they have removed her five-month-old younger brother and placed him in foster care. Ava's grandmother wishes she had said more, that CPS had stepped in earlier. We wanted her. I was willing to help support my son to take care of her. But it's too late for Ava Garcia. Her family hopes to donate her organs to help other kids live, and she'll live in their memories. just want to hear her talk. Just want to hear her say daddy one more time. In Cleburne, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.